Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, I am going to explain you how you can use autocomplete component of material UI with multiple attributes. So this video I am recording on the demand of some viewer of my channel those are requesting me to make a video on multiple attributes available for autocomplete component so in previous video i have explained how you can use autocomplete with single attribute but here i have multiple attribute like i have a list of name in which i have a first name and last name similar to this you may have few more attributes also that doesn't mean you can take any number of attributes just in example i am taking two attributes in this array so let us start it how we can do it so right now we have this output and uh, i have inserted this here in app component also so we are going to start the coding for this so for that i have created a snippet so i am using that snippets to design my layout first of all like this then I import this box and typography on the top of the component save this and you see that I have a MUI and I give it a name that autocomplete autocomplete with multiple attribute example save this now we have such kind of interface now let me start now so here I have box layout here and under this box layout i use auto complete i say auto complete like this and inside this i give the size or width of this to 400 like this now in auto complete i have to pass some properties for that i say options equal to name list you see this name list is a array which have the objects so that i have to pass here but this list doesn't know which value we have to display this first name or last name you will see how we do how we saw it for that we have a get option label here and this option label we have to pass so which particular field of this object means first name you want to display or last name you want to display that we will decide from this arrow function here we have a options or values which we are passing here from this option i am specifying that from this i need first name or you can give last name also so i want to display here the complete list with the help of this complete list i have the options here means one option here like this the complete information i will have one object here as a option so this option i have first name and last name so here by get option label i am specifying here that which field i want to display in autocomplete text field remember that from here you can decide which field you want to show now after that we have a value attribute here i can say value state variable i will specify and then we have a on change under this i will say handle change function i will decide here handle change function i will take now i have to give a render input render input and here in render input arrow function we have to decide that uh, text field we are passing so here i say text field and in this text field i pass all the parameter i say params and here i pass label also that i say here select name and uh, i close this like that save this so we done this now and we have to create 
this is state variable and function for that I say here that const value is my state variable set value is this function for this and we have a use state and in this use state right now I specify null save this now uh, here I just create uh, the function and I say handle change here and in this handle change we have uh, two events first is two parameters first is event second is new value so I pass here new value so I say set value new value like this save this now you see that state variable is not defined so we can define here state variable from react save this now I think we have done this we have passed the list we have passed the option also we have passed the value we have handled this now I can display this information here also after this so first of all I see the screen here we have like this we have first first value is coming user first name you see first name is coming and we will optimize it more so first of all I want to display selected value for that I say here uh, that uh, I have MUI typography here I say I have H4 as a heading and the color I don't want to use and here I say I want to display value remember this this value is an object so I say here first name first name I want to display and I want to display it only when it is not empty or it is not null so if it is not null then we display this otherwise I display null remember this and here I have a first name also I have a last name also so I can merge this information like that here and I say uh, this one like this first value I have then I say the last value I have I say value dot last value last name last name I have and I just use like this to display this save this and uh, now if you see that we have given it like that so what I do I say that should be h5 and here I say selected value is this save this and you see that selected value is this so I can uh, it is okay now so if I select here uh, suppose Ashok then we have a Mr. Ashok Kumar because it's a first name it is a last name here we only have the first name display so how this first name is coming because this first name is coming from here but if I want to display here last name so I can say here last name save this and you will see that we having a last name here now but by the last name we cannot decide the person name so here we can also specify the combined name means multiple attribute we can combine here like this as I am giving you like this we can combine multiple attributes also remember that so multiple attributes we can specify here you see like that so we are specifying that first name also last name also because this object have the first value as a object and the, from this object we can have the value similarly we have this output here we have first name and last name here so you see now we will have the first name and last name all the options we have here but we are having a certain problem so no not a problem so we we have some problem right now what is the problem we have to see this we have okay the problem is that here we have a option and here I have given the name to value 
so this is not a value this is option so a copy paste problem like this because it's an option it is an option it is not a value so it is just a copy paste problem because i copy from here and paste here and this options i'm using here now you see if i select here we have a first name and last name together and we are selecting these value also you see everything is changing right now but still i have a one error here if you see in last video also i have come i have explained it so if you will see that we have a certain uh, i refresh it so if i select here right now you see i have a one warning this is a is option equal to value this is coming because we have to set one property also like that equal to value and here i have the arrow function that have two parameter first is option second is value and we have to set here that option dot value is equal to equal to value dot value means this also have a value attribute this also have a value attribute and these two are object so we have to define here that if this value is equal to equal to with the option of this like that way then i save this so that means here we are just removing the warning is coming here this warning is coming i refresh it now and you see that now this warning will remove so i select this you see no warning is coming everything is working fine you see we are able to see or select the values also and there is no warning and this is the optimum way to use auto complete with multiple attributes and you remember that here we are specifying this property this property we can also specify with the help of one object so how we can specify just i copy this and i make it comment so in place of this i can pass direct object also how i can pass this so i create here i say option parameter this is the object so i give here value so i'm passing this value so here i say name list i'm passing this as a parameter and here also i'm passing this like that save this so these properties i am passing in as in a object and now directly i can pass this object also here so in place of these property i can pass like this option params save this you see so in place of these two line i can set this information in object also and i can pass here both are same nothing nothing is different you see i refresh it so everything is same the earlier one this one all are same no changes just we have the way to give the value to the autocomplete component you see so we can pass like this also in a object we can pass like this directly also we can set this property to make it true if this value is available in option also and if this value you have selected both are equal then we can remove the problem which was coming as a warning to match the value both the values matched so we do not have any kind of warning and options here you see now it is completely working with multiple attributes also in this example i have used two attributes but i have given you an idea that if you have a more attributes also just you have to specify here that which attribute you want to use you can use all attributes also you can use the attribute which you want you can merge those attribute here pass your list here array and pass the list which you want to show here the options and here you can decide the value which you want to show and here we are passing property like this way we can display all the result because whenever we have this change event it have a two parameter first is event second is a new value this new value is this first combination of all i have shown you that if you insert any value so that value come with object and we have all the attributes selected so anyone whatever the you select you can select one value you can select two attribute you can select three attribute but all the attribute those are you have passed they come here
so you can select any information any value from that array which you want to display or you want to uh, use in your program so that's all in this video about autocomplete with multiple attributes i think you understand it and i think i have fulfilled the request of my youtube viewers also that's all in this video about uh, autocomplete with multiple attributes if you learn it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video mm -hmm.